Right, down in the workshop, very briefly, I left off in yesterday's video showing you plates, little titanium plates, something like this. Actually, I didn't show you the plates, I showed you the, I showed you the glue and I said that I'd forgotten the plates, I'd left them in the workshop. Picked them up last night, glued them together, put a bearing in and came up with this. There's lots of glue, so that's that's lots of glue you can see on there. I just, just glued the plates together. But this is a huge, huge um, leap forward in the in my in my spinner design. Really it really uh, really is a big leap forward. A big a big leap forward in many ways. Mainly that it just feels so good now. The ones I showed you before, if you remember in previous videos they had bolts sticking through them and you know I had to carefully place my fingers and there was things all jutting out. I just was trying to get the, the size and the shape right. So I've got the size and the shape better. Now it's just the, the contouring and things like that and sort of um, that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do now is, you know, this is the larger one. The plates I showed you there is for the smaller one. So I'm going to glue those together and then I'm going to use acetone and take off the excess glue on that one and hopefully try and get the excess glue off of around the edges of this one. Right, so that's it pretty much glued. That's a smaller version. Very messy, but there's a bit of a there's a bit of an X factor. Now the funny thing is is that this is has like a you know, these are steps because I'm making it out of one millimeter sheets of titanium and gluing it together because it's the quickest, easiest way to prototype right now rather than going full CNC or anything like that. But like it actually looks good the stepping like that the intention is for it not to be there you know I want it to have be you know completely sort of contoured not stepped but there is a bit of an X factor to it so what I need to do now is actually I'm going to try and use the acetone take this see if I can take the excess glue off just for sort of aesthetics there's no functional reason to do that though and then I've got to go home and the ba because the bearing isn't going to fit in as it is with all the glue on the inside and and the plates not quite lining up i need to i need to dremel out the inside to to accept the bearing at the house just now i have put together the smaller of the two recent spinners, so we've got two, two here. I will show you those later on. I have to go into town just now though, pick up my dad, he's been doing some more tumbling of the pry bars. Oh, before I go, just quickly, look at that. That, you may not recognise it, that is a brand new laptop which, if you've been following my videos, you'll know I had issues with my computer. I started paying you know a fairly hefty subscription for some 3d software solid edge if you're wondering and you know i've had it for a month it's not cheap it's like 450 400 new zealand dollars a month and i couldn't use it because my my laptop was just sort of on kind of on its last leg so i just sort of bit the bullet went for it and so 3d designing is going to be underway i've been doing those prototypes for the the spinner just in 2d cad and slicing it with uh, sorry 2d cad and you know cutting sheets and gluing the sheets together kind of like a slice form which i'll show you very quickly just in case i've not shown you but i think i have shown you so if you look at that excuse me better light see that that's how i have to do things but with solid edge now I can start learning 3D and boy do I have to learn it because I started doing 3D the other day not easy 
not easy at all. So very steep landing curve, but I think it's going to be worth it. Right, just waiting for the machine to stop because I just switched it off. It takes a while. When it's full of media, you know, there's an extra, you know, 75 kilos, so about 150, 160 pounds in there. So there's more momentum, it takes longer to stop than when it's empty. Right, that's it stopped now. In here, we have quite a number of titanium pry bars. We are redoing them because when we tumble them, sometimes depending on the product, depending on the surface area, to sort of weight ratio and that kind of thing, they will, they'll, they'll stick together. So you'll get something like this here, as I'll show you. So sometimes they might be like that. So they'll be two together, and you'll see them going around in the tumbler, something like that, just stuck together. And what happens is, when they're stuck together like that for a while, they'll be slowly rubbing for a long time, and they'll get marks. So we've got a number, I don't know the percentage, but a percentage of what we did is uh, rejects. So only temporary, temporary, temporarily, only temporary rejects. So we just sort of can refinish them again. We just sort of, you know, test, you know, do a little few tweaks to the tumbling process, you know, make it a bit shorter and we retumble and get the finish right back up to what they're meant to look like, sort of the finished item in, in that tub there. So we're gonna empty the tumbler now, we're gonna take out, they've been going for like, oh, I don't know how many hours, however many hours, and we're gonna empty now, so I'll show you that part of the process. waiting for the machine to stop again, just like before. What I just showed you there was the way it gets emptied. I mean, you know that anyway, but I'll just explain it to you. We put in like this half, this plastic, I, don't, I think this stuff is called PTFE plastic or something like that. Um, quite kind of soft stuff. So we put that in, obviously all the media falls down, down there like that. There's a little ramp we put up here, and because this sort of donut shaped bowl, what it does is it's got, it's got a particular rotation, it's hard to explain, it's got two type of movements. One movement causes the media to go like that in here, and the other movement causes it to go like that. So you can imagine a spiral. What basically happens with the media is it goes round and round and round, all the way like that, all the way round. So when you put this ramp in, it all bunches up here, like you can see. You can see this sort of ramp coming up. Bunches up there and starts flowing out there, like I showed you a minute ago. And it just empties so fast. Just, you see the, you see the pry bars just plopping into the bucket of water there. And you know what? It's such a massive, massive novelty because that machine, it's great. I love it, it's good. It's served me well for, is it a year now, two years? I honestly can't remember, it might even be two years now. Yeah, it is two years. That, you know, but, you know, you've got to empty barrels, you've got to use these barrels here. And, you know, you fill them up, you carry them over, and they're heavy, and you put them in, you know, you tumble, you take them out, and then you've got to 
empty them out and riddle the stuff out in here and yeah you can just that machine there is just it's it's such such a novelty right so I've been playing around with the small spinner I'll show you it here it's getting a little bit dark it's very late at night now so but I'll show it to you anyway it's, it's a nice chunky little uh, little thing get this to focus there's glue all over it, I had a problem with the glue, but it's uh, it's actually, it's quite amazing, it's, it's, it's really got a bit of an X factor, like, even though it wobbles, I don't know if you can see that, but, yeah, you can definitely see that, look at that, look at the wobble on that, it's, it's fine, like, I'm, it's just, like, I'm just getting the feel of it, and, and that kind of thing, but, but the, the, the shape of it is unreal. It's, you know, you can you can flick it in different ways. Like, before you had to sort of flick it like in the same plane, like your finger had to go up in the same sort of vertical plane that the, that the like up and down of the spinner is. But now you can sort of like, you can flick it sideways. Like, you can see my finger flicking it sideways there. And it's just really going for it. So, I, I will do a more in-depth video on this. Most likely tomorrow or day after whatever I will do a more in-depth video on this and the smaller one ah uh, the lot the larger one but I'm gonna call it a day at that I will leave you with a quote the quote is by Seneca and he said not how long but how well you have lived is the main thing